Okay, this is your old pal Digger Jones coming to you from Crystal Isle this time and uh, basically in my last video <laughs> the saga was to get to the green ob and as you can see there are lots of trials and tribulations trying to do that from a spawn point. But uh, I eventually got it done and got my little shack ma made and I basically constructed that whole shack with primitive tools naked with help from Katie the Parasaur. Uh, and it wasn't until I had all that done that I unpacked all of the stuff that I'd unloaded in the green ob. Uh, having metal tools probably would have made that construction piece easier but oh well it is what it is uh, so my purpose in coming to Crystal Isle was originally to tame a crystal wyvern as my first flying mount you know they don't need a saddle you can tame them with crystal now the hard part that I have here is I don't have a metal pick and you can't harvest any crystal on Crystal Isle without a metal pick so um, basically I'm gonna have to get some metal and smelt it down and make a smithy and all of that so it means that I'm going to need a more a more permanent base and Crystal Isle is not a bad place to have a good base actually probably gonna need it on all of the uh, maps but uh, so we'll gear up and my most recent spawn in the one that resulted in successfully reaching the green obelisk I had spotted uh, a pretty good metal spawn point right next to a crystal spawn point so that's what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go over there and see if I can uh, find that place again there's the thatch shack there and go on over there now now there aren't too many bad things around here there's raptors there was a therizino over there but uh, on the other side of this little lake it gets even more docile where the only thing in the area that I could see that was threatening were dillos a few pagos I should have grabbed that monkey I just noticed that uh, well anyway our, our mission here at this point is to get a crystal wyvern a tropical crystal wyvern and they aren't they don't spawn too far away from here so we're in a we're in a good zone for that so we get across the creek here or the pond or ocean or whatever it is this body of water make sure there's no piranhas or sharks in here to eat me uh, and again this area is pretty docile uh, farther up the beach where I'd originally crossed there were piranhas biting my butt when I got over there but this time we're going pretty good not quite sure why I didn't pick up that drop uh, maybe we'll have a look to see what's in there uh, yeah nothing nothing that I want right now So we'll just bypass that and go on our merry little way. As I said uh, somewhere in a previous video that I don't even know if you heard because the gain on the sound effects was so loud. That was one of the things that I'm busy learning. I'm learning how to edit using Kden Live as my editor. Uh, I tried something else to open shot. I think it was, and that was. I've, this is what I like, Kaden Live. Uh, and oh, a moss tops would be great to have, except this one wants giant bee honey. 
You know, being picky is how you become Hyde, buddy. That's how you become Hyde. I'm just saying. Um, oh, here's another one. Let's try him. Uh, he wants Mezzoberry. We can do that. Uh, I don't have any. Katie, do you have some? Right there. Right there. Yeah. All right. We're in business. And boom. Right there. We got ourselves a Moss Chops. He's an 80, level 80 something. Not a bad, not a bad level though. So here we go. Now, as I said in an earlier video, this this series was kind of uh, inspired by a fellow by the name of Python. And maybe I'll have to put a link to him somewhere in one of these videos to give him due credit. His, his idea was to visit all the maps, have all the maps available, and just have fun and see if he could beat them all. And that's something I always wanted to do. Um, now I am in single player, so things are a little different than a server. And I hadn't, I played a little bit of single player, but not a whole lot. Certainly not switching maps. And so this one, this has been a, a little bit of an education for me. I'd played uh, on official servers. I started on, actually started on the beginner server. And I still go back there sometimes to the beginner official. And and then uh, and then kind of moved over to Volgaro. Volgaro hadn't been out very long, and and basically lived there for almost better part of a year. But I was watching uh, Python's video, and he tamed Moss Chops. And one of the things that kind of amazed me about this guy is that he does hit hard. He 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 does hit harder than. Uh, I would have thought. Now, as long as your mount on his mount, if you get knocked off the mount, he's going to run away like a girly dinosaur. But, but as you can see, uh, I'm going down here killing stuff. He really, he really does a pretty good job. Uh, looking for this metal spawn right now, though, and I'm really close to it. There we go. Let's get rid of that Dillo. And as you can see, uh, he's hitting uh, over 100, which is pretty tanky. And then he does a good job of harvesting up hide and meat. And his main utility at this stage of the game is fiber. Fiber and berries. Although I kind of like the para a little bit more with the berries, but he does he does pretty good too he does really good getting thatch and there we go uh kind of fast forwarded and somewhere in there a pego went after me after i tamed the moss chops i still had the mezzo berries in there and so i uh, got myself a, a pego who's probably my my biggest guardian of this base that i built this little base we got some metal smelting in there and uh, we were able to make our pickaxe. There I am. Uh, I should have made a screenshot or something there. But anyway, uh, our main mission at this point is to get a crystal wyvern. Because once you get that, you can pick up other dinos. You can harvest more thatch, cactus sap, all kinds of stuff. Uh, really have some good power behind you, even a low level one, which is really what I'm after. Here you see the internal of the innards of the base with the uh, storage chest and uh, a bed and the smithy. And so we're going to go out here and look for a crystal wyvern. Uh, it's been kind of fun following Python, even though um, he's he's primarily a Minecraft players, but he's played a couple maps on 
arc now. As far as I know, he's only done the island and lost island. Uh, I've done most of them. I've done all of the ones that you've seen in my series so far, except Gen 2. I haven't spent a lot of time. There we go. There's a crystal wyvern. Um, and I've seen a couple up until this point, and I'm turning off his, his turret because it seems like these guys are kind of skittish. They want to take off real easy. So we're going to go up to this guy, and I got I had already gotten some crystal at this point in my last slot. You can see it there. But I go up. You must be at least level 65 to feed this wyvern. That was a... Uh, that set me back on my heels in a pretty substantial way. That was that is not a pleasant realization. I didn't know that. I've been to Crystal Isles before, but it was coming off other maps, so it was easier. You know, I'd already leveled up. So um, this is going to have to be held off. You know. The, the level 95 isn't the one I was going to tame anyway. I really wanted, there's a level 20. Would have only taken two or three crystals. Uh, so I had to do a little research. And so we're going to switch gears a little bit. I've uh, got some dodos now. And my first flyer is this Pteranodon that I found. It was a level one, 140 when I tamed it. It tamed out to a 209. And he had... 33 points in weight or something like that. He's really good Pteranodon. So I can't be too mad about it. I mean, there are some other adventures getting chitin on this map. and uh, You see, I got my compost bin making some fertilizer. So eventually I'm thinking we will kind of base up here for uh crafting and making things it's a good area i got metal right here i got a water supply there's not a lot of things to bother me uh crystal isle is just it's just a good solid map to base up um but i'm not at the level i need to be here i'm making a feeding trough which is going to involve getting some more metal because you need raw metal to make that. And uh, and some more wood. So basically I'm switching gears. I'm going to need to get some levels. And then I can come back here and get my crystal wyvern. Well, the best place to get levels is probably the island using those explorer notes there um, and I've already got a good start I can uh, I kind of already know where I want to build kind of by the red ob uh, on the western side of the island uh, and I, I, I expect I'm going to have multiple maps on all of or multiple bases on all of these maps for different reasons but uh, yeah we need to get some more levels which means that we got to get more stuff all right and and of course I'm making some narcotics uh, the mortar and pestle was also something that I hadn't done before the finding out about the crystal wyverns so I ended up laying one of those down because uh, we're going to need some narcotics to get our pteranodon. And we already got an egg. So eventually we'll get some kibble and the, uh, and the dodos. are also making lots of poop for my compost bin. And that's why I like the S plus compost bin. I like it for two reasons. One, it'll take uh, the small feces and make just as much fertilizer as the large one. And also because you don't hear the flies. Yeah, the vanilla one, you hear that constant buzzing all the time. And that is annoying. 
having that right by your base and having that that'll drive a person insane so yeah that's one of the little creature comforts of s plus s plus does have a lot of other creature comforts which i hadn't really capitalized that much until the compost bin where it it also holds more than the vanilla the trough holds more uh so some of the things just they're just a little bit improved but so far i hadn't and you see i've already got a bed made I am getting ready to move. I'm going to take these seeds here and store some of those. I'm going to put some of the berries in the trough. Not that anybody's going to eat anything when I'm gone, but because it's single player, you know, you're not on the map, nothing happens. It's not like I could turn on the smelter and have all of my metal smelted when I got back or anything like you can on a, on a real server official or otherwise uh, and I do have my own server that I'm, I'm currently playing pri on Lost Island Primal Fear but I've been on that for a while and I'm thinking uh, this is a nice change of pace I really like the beginning the the early game I like early game stuff and so that's why this series is really good because I get Lots of that. Alright, so I'm having the uh, Pego. I think I call him Robert T. Or Robert. Uh, he's holding all my seeds. And I don't know if I have him on neutral or whatever. If I spawn in by the ob and something comes around here, he'll... I mean, since it's all just Dillos anyway, he'll probably take care of them. Uh, here we go. And we'll come back to that later. We're just we're just unloading stuff here. Getting ourselves lightened up. And, uh... Yeah, there's... I'm not quite sure why I'm wandering around. Just making sure that we have everything. Yeah, I'm going to take Katie with me. That's what I'm doing. Uh, going to ball these dudes up. I've already got uh, Moose the Moss Chops balled up. So, uh, Robert, you're in charge. Put some levels into stamina because it's going to take a little bit to get over there to the green knob. I'm not too far from it but I'm a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I just want to have fun on all the maps and I'm using this series also to kind of hone my skills in video editing and trying different things and that's why we have a voiceover this time. The last one was kind of a silent film style where you just had captions and music and you just let the story play out. This one doesn't have much of a story at all. Uh, the quest was originally for a crystal wyvern and I wasn't ready for it yet. I thought I could, you know, I thought that would be a great beginner tame, but uh, it's not. Oh, hello, Mr. Spino. I thought it would be a great beginner tame, and I still do. I, th I think it'll be a great tame to have early game uh, where you don't need a saddle. It's a passive tame uh, as opposed to the other ones where you have to... Uh, let's get some stamina here. Need to be on dry land. As opposed to the other wyverns where you have to uh, steal eggs and survive all of that, and then you gotta hatch them, which involves having some kind of hatchery type facility, and uh, time to raise the babies and get the milk and all that kind of stuff. Uh, having a wyvern early game is just, it's just a winner. So we're gonna come back over here to the green ob, and we're just gonna upload here. But anyway, that gives you a little bit of background on what I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I have about three or 4,000 hours in the game. 
you know, and I watch other people play that don't have that many, and it is kind of frustrating in watching them sometimes when they make mistakes. But if you watched any of my other videos, you know I make them too. <laughs> Crazy mistakes. But, uh, yeah, we got to pod this dude up. Most definitely, we got to upload everything uh, into the OB, and then we'll be traveling over to the island the next time. But so far, so far I've had a lot of fun doing this, um, even though it is kind of solo. Even though I don't have any subscribers as of recording this, um, or any any other views. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because uh, I'm learning. I'm also chronicling kind of my ultimate art journey. So I'll always have this, and uh, if the vid channel takes off later if it doesn't oh well uh, I have other plans for another channel anyway that might do a little bit better that I might promote a little bit more but this is uh, kind of my learning channel and my have fun channel I really do like playing arc there's f frustrations definitely like this upload process uh, definitely is something uh, that gets to be on single player that I have to actually close out the game and then reload it and then download my player into the next map. I haven't found any other easier way than that. But anyway, that's kind of what, what I'm doing. Back to being naked again and uh, next time we'll be spawning on the island. Got to move all this stuff over, make sure everything's over there. Uh, and we finally have some dinosaurs, too. So I look forward to kind of starting out ahead there. And I anticipate coming back to Crystal Island after I get leveled up and get, get things going on the island. I don't expect to stay there too long. But anyway, uh, have a good one, everybody.